My name is Gerard O'Callaghan. I live in Mallow uh, in County Cork and um, I play the bagpipes, have been playing them for years now, mostly for weddings, but I also uh, play them for other functions uh, like funerals and festivals and different occasions. Well, the sound of the bagpipes has always been known as the skirl of the pipes. It's, it's a word that uh, I'd say it's possibly a Scottish word. But um, how I describe it is that first of all, um, from the chanter, which is the main melody part of the pipes, you get a high pitched sound and you know, it doesn't sound like other instruments. It, it, it has a sort of a certain unique sound of its own. Some people wouldn't have a wedding without bagpipes. They, they kind of feel that it, it's part and parcel of, of, of the event. When I started in the pipe band, I suppose I was 13 years of age. I had been in the, uh, there was a flagellate band as we call it, which was a tin whistle uh, in the school. And I had started there and um, I saw that uh, the local pipe band, the Thomas Davis pipe band, were looking for uh, new members. So I went down to uh, one of those meetings. And um, what I wanted to do actually at that stage was to become a drummer. But uh, that didn't work out because the pipe major at the time was uh, a cousin of mine by the name of Tom, Tom O'Callaghan. And uh, Tom uh, cajoled me into going for the, the bagpipes. He said, you know, he said, if you were uh, a drummer now, he said, you'd be banging. He said, and you'd have all the neighbors uh, annoyed, etc. Whereas if you were playing an instrument like the bagpipes, you could play a few tunes and, you know, it would be nice. People would, would, would like it and it, you wouldn't be annoying people so much and so forth and so on. So that, that got me into the, the bagpipes, which, uh, you know, it was fine because I never looked back really. Mm -hmm. 